Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the casual racing game. But today we are talking controllers, we're talking wheel and pedals, we're talking VR, we're talking flat screen, and we are gonna go over our weekly community times for the daily races, see where your standings are this week, and we're gonna talk about all that stuff. So I want you guys to participate in the comment section because I don't have I'm gonna have questions for you guys, and I and, and you know, we, we want to know the answers to this stuff. So first, um, you know, I do race only in VR and I only use a wheel and pedals. So let's first talk about the VR thing here, right? So PSVR 2, a lot of guys, I don't know why, there's, there's a lot of people that are under the impression that you can't be as fast in VR. And I'm, I'm kind of confused there because to me, um, I, I can only run really fast now in VR. I do not race on a flat screen. I actually tried doing it yesterday just to see if I can like where my time would be um, at spa. And I was kind of like one second to two second off. Now, of course, if I ran it all the time, I would get used to it, right? Like anything, you get used to it. And I think the same is with VR. Um, if, if you run VR regularly, you're going to get fast in it, right? So, you know, as far as speeds go, I don't think one is going to be better than the other. Now, I will say there's one thing. Now, obviously, I think a lot of creators um, do not race in VR because you don't have the options of a lot of the um, the interface that you get in, to, in 2D on flat screens that you, that, that, that you don't get in VR. So th that's a disadvantage, right, to racing. But you get used to it, guys. Um, you know, there's things I don't know. I can't see. Um, you know, times of other cars, where they are, you know, tire changes and stuff for other guys and, you know, things like that. Um, you know, it is a disadvantage, right? But speed wise, we should be able to, to run just as fast, if not better. We're actually in the car. We're feeling like we're in a car. We are super immersed, but that doesn't mean that you can't be fast running on a flat screen. Obviously a lot of the fastest guys are probably running on, on, on a flat screen TV, um, or monitor. But for me, it's all about immersion. I'd rather be I'd rather be slower and immersed if it came down to that to fat than faster and not be immersed. Um, but but that but that's just me, guys. So so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that and I want you guys to leave a comment. I'll let you know what I want want to know about you guys with, with your racing um as soon as we get to our our daily weekly times. The one thing I really would love, of of course I want, you know, more information in, in our in our HUD in VR, but the one thing that I that I really like, and I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this because they feel like they lose immersion, but when you're racing on a flat screen and you're using the bumper cam, the virtual mirror. Um I love the virtual mirror. I would love the option to use that in in a, in in PSVR too. When I do eye racing in VR, I, I strictly use a VR mirror. I actually turn all the car mirrors off. The virtual mirror gives so much information of cars around you, and I, I, it is so helpful. Now you guys might say, "Oh, but it lose immersion. It's not real." But I find like a lot of the mirrors in these cars in VR are very hard to actually. Um, used to your advantage. The side mirrors, I, in a car, I, I rarely ever look at them. I feel like they're not helpful at all. If a car has, has a rear view camera, you know, usually that'll be helpful. But if we were able to turn on that virtual mirror, and they usually put it really high up. So it's not like in your in your sight when you're looking straight. You kind of need to move your eyes up to see it. But there's usually so much good information in there. And that's one thing I'm really jealous of that that you get in a, in a, in a flat screen. Now, another thing is, you know, when you're racing in VR, we have one view in VR, right? You're in the car. Now, here's the thing with that. Every car feels and acts differently when you're driving in it. Um, some cars, you feel like you're more far back. Some, you're, you're higher up. The windshield, how much you can see out of your windshield. Some cars have like really big windshields. Some are really low. You feel like a little, a lot of people feel like cross the cloth. Blah, blah. I, I can't speak, guys. You know I can't speak. Um, claustrophobic, claustropho claustrophobic, something. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, you know, you know. So, so some cars have a different feeling. Also, you know, some cars you you drive on the right side, and some cars you drive on the left side. When you're in a flat screen and you're using like the bumper cam or the or the hood cam, um, you you every car feels the same, right? You're always in the center. So. You're driving while the cars handle differently. The actual feeling in the car in VR is is way different. So every car you get in, you actually have to adjust. Um, even looking at the dashboard, where's my rev limiter? Um, looking at all that stuff changes from car to car. When you're when you're in a flat screen, every car looks this exact same in that in that um, bumper cam view. So you don't have to adjust to cars. You adjust to the way they drive. But when you're in VR, you need to adjust to the feeling of the car. Some cars feel a lot bigger. Some cars feel a lot smaller. You feel tighter. Um, so, so that could be a disadvantage because you have to actually train yourself to be comfortable in a car. 
where on flat screen, there's, it's not a matter of comfort. Everything feels the same. It's the same view. It's the same rev limiter. Everything is, looks the same. Um, everything's in the same spot. When you're running in VR, where you have where you have your radar, sometimes it's really far to the right, really far to the left. Sometimes it's closer. So you have to turn your head more to see if you want to see things in your radar. So there are things that might be tougher, but that's all. That's the great part about racing, right? In VR, is because if you're going to drive different cars in real life, they're going to feel different. They're going to 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 just make you drive different being inside. And like I said, you sit on the right side of some cars, you sit on the left side of some cars. So there's a lot of adjusting to do. But, you know, I, I love the immersion. So that's just me. Now, you know, some guys race on a wheel and pedals. Some guys w race on, on, on a controller. People on controller, I know, can be super fast. We have guys um, in, in our top 10 all the time that, that I know put their time trials. Um, what is it? Jimster71 races, races his time trials on a controller. And the dude is super fast. So I know guys on controllers can be super fast. So for me, the, it, the wheel and pedals is about, you know, I'm not fast on controller. I, I can't use controller because it's not something I practice. It's not something I do. But for me, the wheel and pedals adds to the immersion, um, especially in VR. Like we're racing and you're on a wheel and pedals. I, 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 you're so connected to the car with the wheel and pedals in VR. So for me, you know, wheel and pedals is the way to go, but that doesn't mean you guys can't be fast. I know a lot of guys that, that can be super fast with controllers. There are aliens that use controllers. You can even use controller in iRacing, and there's there's guys who do use controller in iRacing. So it's not just like GT7's a console game, and that's why people play with controller. Um, controller is allowed in iRacing as well, so, a, you know, a top-tier sim racing game, and people can still use controller and be competitive, which is insane. I think that's insane. You know, for me, again, it's the immersion of the pedal and, 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 and the wheel that adds to it. The, the feedback when you're turning your wheel, the force feedback and everything. For me, it's just, it's, just, it's just that much better. But that doesn't say you guys can't be fast and we're going to get some answers. I want you guys to be, you know, participate in, our, in the comments with my next questions here. So we're going to go over your times. Let's see where you guys are. Let me know, um, you know, what you feel about everything that I just mentioned. But we're going to go over your times here. Now, we're going to go over race A, race B, race C. And if you guys um, are new to the community, um, send me a friend request. And I do this every week. Or at least I try to do this every week on, on the midweek, like a Wednesday. I put our like top 10, anywhere from top 10 to top top 13 um, times from you guys midweek, just, just to show you who's in the top. And then at the end of the week, I, I show like all, all the places. So you can see where you actually um, fit in with your time. And and this keeps us, this keeps us, you know, competing with each other. It keeps us pushing. It keeps us grinding. And, you know, obviously you guys are going to want to see yourself move up, um, you know, from week to week, improving, getting better. So see where you are every week on that list. See who, see who's around you. Um, start, start forming, start forming some, some, you know, I, I don't want to say rivals, but it's, it's like a friendly rival. See who's around you and then make that person like, oh, this guy beats me all the time by like two places. Let me see if I can get ahead of him. Because there's certain guys that I'm always looking at, and I'm like, all right, he, he's ahead of me. I, I got to push a little harder, or I'll, I'll see it. And I'm like, I, I, it just makes me push a little more to move up the list. But it's all about grinding. It's all about practice. And I, I put hours, some you know, sometimes hours a week, just grinding a track for my time trials, which also helps, of course, with your with your qualifying time. The better you qualify, there there's no doubt. Um, unless you're like like a super super good driver, super fast, and you can go in the back and then move up. Most, most times, if you guys can start in the front, you guys will usually, if you drive a good consistent lap, you guys will finish well. So the further up you are in, in the grid, the better chances, as long as you can stay consistent on that track, um, that you'll finish better. So guys, send me a friend request if you want to join in on our community rankings list and see where you guys stand against the community. We have some super fast guys, so... Um, it's really hard to really get to the top, but the fast guys, you'll always see them at the top. So, you know, just see where you are. Just try to move up every week. Um, send a friend request. It's Kaz-Racing-Gamer, C-I-S-R-A-C-I-N-G-G-A-M-E-R. And um, yeah, send me a friend request, join in, and let's take a look at your guys' times for, for the week here. So we're going to go race A. Race A is usually always the quietest race. Obviously, it doesn't count towards any of your, of your driver rating, safety ratings, um, this one was at Suzuka Circuit, and we're going to take a look. Um, this is going to be, let's just quickly scroll down out to see how many guys we have here. So we have 41 who raced race A, and look at our um, our top, top. here's the top 12 showing up right here, Scrab, TCR, Browning, and 210 is our top. Global ranking 207 is actually 
um, number one global ranking. So there's there's some fast, fast guys in the global rankings list there. Um, I did not do race A. I only did race B this week. Um, so Scrab, yeah, taking the lead there. We got all these other guys in top 10. We have Browning, WGP, Dave Snot, Cal Norton Jr., Race of 51. Race of 51, always always up there towards the top. Fast driver um, as well there. Um, Turbocharge, Otteris, VR, Skywalker, rounding out the top 10. The Schachter coming in in a P11. Dude, you almost missed the top 10 by a little, 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 little bit. Almost there, dude. Good job, though. Good job getting in there. Um, really close to top 10. Frugal, G70, and then look down the rest of the list. See where you guys stand here. Um, and then, you know, some of you guys I know race all A, B, and C. Some race like two of them. I usually stick to one. I really want to get good at just just one of the daily races. Um, and it's usually either B or C. I don't do daily race A often. Um, but 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 I might just hop in a, 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 and do some daily race A's just because it doesn't affect anything. So there's no concern there with... Um, you know, ruining any, 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 anything about any, your ratings or anyone else's ratings. Um, so, so, so maybe, but you know, if I can't grind in and get a good qualifying score, um, I, I don't want to be on the bottom of the list guys. I can't, I, I got a reputation to hold up here, but, um, yeah, but you know, I'm still casual, but I still have a reputation to hold up if it's improving. So I can't be at the bottom of the list. So I, if I can't put hours of grinding into make it to the top, um, sometimes I, I, I won't hop into it guys. Um, anyway, all right, so we have um, 23 in Ismo coming down the list here, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, coming down, see where you guys are. We're at the 222s, 226, 230, 231, and this is what I want you guys to do, okay? In the comments, for, put put which race it was, daily race A, B, or C, put if you are using a wheel and pedals or a controller, and put if you're racing in VR or flat screen. I want to kind of get a feel for how you guys are racing, what you guys are using, and the places that you guys are actually getting in on our community ranking. So let's take a look at Daily Race B. Um, this one I did race in, um, and I, 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 I grinded this one, and hopefully, um, hopefully I'm still in a good spot. I haven't checked, but let's see. Here it is. Where am I? Woo, man, top 10. All right. You guys didn't knock me out too bad. You guys didn't knock me out too bad. So thank you, guys. Thank you. I made a top 10 here. Daily Race B at Spa. We got Blaze. Blaze is always top list, dude. Blaze is super fast. So the name fits him. Um, hitting P1 at a 228. Global ranking at a 229. So he's he's really close there, dude. Um, 228 starts like he's he's in he's in the hundreds here, right? So nice job, dude. Um, race of 51 also at a 228. Like I said, he's always fast. Mako is always fast at 228. Clacky 78 VR super fast at a 228. Dude grinded, grinded some more, and finally got into a 228. So good job, Clacky um, VR. Now I know you said that that you know it took, you you were still working on getting quicker in VR, like you are on a flat screen. But I'm I'm thinking you're you're pretty fast now in VR. I don't know if you can actually beat your time on a flat screen, or if you been testing it and see if you can actually be better still at flat screen or, you know, are, are you now, are you now it in VR? Um, fast lane hitting P5 and we start the 229s, TCR, Reese, Bobby, Jim to 71. So here he is. Um, and I know he uses controller and he has said for all, he does race on a wheel and pedals, but when he does his time trials, he actually says that he uses a controller because he's faster in controller. So that's actually pretty insane that he's faster in controller. And he also has a wheel and pedals, but he does his time trials in on controller. So I'm guessing he did it on controller here, but you know, that's just a guess. Race of 51 and Z out of 229. And then I round off the top 10. Yes, out of 229, 537. Um, and I switched my cars from a 65, the 6506, um, the McLaren to the 6506, the 650S. Um, McLaren to the, to the, to the Lambo. Um, and I, and I didn't improve my time in the Lambo, but it took me a little adjusting to the car because the car felt so much different than, than the McLaren. So it took me a little while to get adjusted, but once I got adjusted, I was able to, to run it a little better. Um, then we have Gary at 11, Otteris at 12, uh, obviously Otteris VR is probably racing in VR. Um, then we have Jack Hayes, Braz, M Thresh, uh, rounding out the top fifth and we start at a 2.30 at the top 15. And there you guys are coming down here. We got Caro, Dave Snot, um, El Sheik, El Sheik Arati at a 
rounding out the top 20. Um, Cudero, VR, Cal, Nismo, Ray. And here we are coming down. We have a lot of guys who ran this week. Um, obviously, Spa, very, very popular, famous track. And we're going to go down the whole list here. Senior Chief, Senior, bah, can't speak. Senior Chief at a P, uh, P31 here. So then we have in a 32 GTI VR, VR. So most likely he is in a VR, Paul Raff. Coming down, looking at you guys, we're in the 40s, P40, Cesar Mueller or Muller um, at a P40. D is Schechter at a 45. So you did A and B. Um, man, lots of guys here in, in um, at Spa, right? So we're at 232s, 233s. So again, curious how you guys are racing. Wheel and pedal, VR, flat screen, controller. Um, this is interesting. This nickname has been deleted. Um, okay. Don't know how that happens, but your nickname has been deleted, P80, whoever you are. Skywalker Crib for VR racing, obviously in VR. Um, hey, look at this 80 something people. We're going to hit the nineties. I have never seen our community have 90 guys competing in one, in one of the daily races. This is insane. Wow. And there it is, nine, 91 drivers. Um, so, you know, grind it, guys, grind it. Move up that list, man, move up that list. If you're, in, if you're all the way down at the bottom, just work up places. If you're, if you're in like P, P90 next week, you know, move up 10 places. But that's a lot, that's a lot of drivers. All right, let's go to race C and let's see how you guys did in, in race, um, race C, which was at Autodromo de Interlagos. I did not do race C. Um, 128, 6, 7 was um, global P1. And we have a 129, 841 Blaze being Blaze like he is super fast. DJ Olive, always fast, always at the top of the list. Um, and then we have Flash, race of 51, of course, always at the top. So you guys, you know, some of you guys did B and C. Goofy looking hippo, P5, Caesar at P6, race of 51 and Z. Um, at a 130 P7, Cal Norton, Reese Bobby, TCR, Beck, Bones, rounding out the top 10. Um, and then we go from P11 down and let's see how you guys did. D Schechter coming in at a P14. You did race A, B, and C, man. Way to grind, dude. Way to grind. You were in them all. Um, so yeah, you know, let us know the places that you were in, what you were actually using, um, control wheels, or if you're in a VR or a flat screen, or if you do both. Um, but but I want to know what you did for your actual time trial. Where, where, and let me know your place you're in. So if you're like, do you like race B, P20, um, PSVR2, wheel and pedals? You know, like just, just you know, we're all interested in that stuff. How you guys are doing? Um, so just going down the, the list here, um, let's see how many of you guys ran um, in this race, um, I see a lot of guys here that have done race B and C as well. M Thrasher in a P35 at a 132. And moving down, Senior Chief there. You know, I've seen you in the other races as well. Um, a lot of you guys do multiple races. But, you know, like I said, I usually try to grind one and get good at it. Um, and spend all my time in that one spot moving up, qualifying better so I have better races. Um yeah, we got a lot of guys did um, P70, 70 guys in P7, um, P, P7, 70 guys in daily race C. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, that, that's the times. Um, guys, good job, everybody. Keep grinding. Again, find find your find your rival, see who's around you, um, and then, you know, work it from there and try to try to beat them every week and just, just try to move up the list. That's what I do. I find some guys I'm usually close around. And then if I see them ahead of me, I'm like, oh, I need to push a little harder. I need to I need to move up in front of him. But I love when you guys beat me, right? So when I move up the list and you guys grind, um, that that good job, man. Good job, guys. You know, it, it upsets me and I want to shed a little bit of a tear when I see my name going down the list, when I think I have a good time and then you guys just show me up. But um, that's all right. I like to see you guys grinding and doing well. So anyway, Guys, if you enjoyed the video, thumb it up again. Send me a send me um, a friend request. Join our community rankings, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, make sure to subscribe, guys. Um, always appreciate you guys have subscribed, thumb up, leave comments, and everything. Um, the community is so awesome. So appreciate every one of you guys. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.